three quarters of a century is a long time for any organization. But it's not a surprising span of time for one that's committed to the history and heritage of the dairy community. The National Dairy Shrine turned 75 this year. Our founders started Dairy Shrine in June of 1949 uh, with kind of that idea of the same elements of our mission today and that is honoring leaders and preserving our history and providing a place for dairy enthusiasts really to get together and offer fellowship and networking for each other. Mike Opperman is executive director at the National Dairy Shrine. The elements of the mission he mentions are threefold. First is inspiring youth. Our second pillar is honoring dairy leaders. And our third pillar is preserving history. Although dairy storied history is important, the Shrine's focus on the future of dairy is number one on the list. And that's what's helped keep it so strong all these years. We gave out about 41 scholarships, totaling almost $50,000 to college students from across the country. And that's just in 2023. But the Shrine's investment in youth doesn't and hasn't stopped there. Another part of, the, of our youth pillar is our Young Professionals program. And it's all about providing young professionals in the dairy industry with career advice, life advice, those professional development sort of resources to help them really further their career. The second pillar, honoring dairy leaders, is done with three awards that are given during the annual World Dairy Expo. Each year we honor a guest of honor, a distinguished dairy cattle breeder, and then a group of pioneers. Lastly, to preserve history. The National Dairy Shrine Museum in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin, is the hallmark of showcasing everything that has ever been dairy. The National Dairy Shrine is a nonprofit organization that looks forward to another 75 years strong. I hope that, you know, 75 years from now we have just that many more youth that we've helped support to get their starts in the industry. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Bob Cervera.